Hello Grade 7 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, I will be discussing about measurement conversions. So let's start with length or distance. So we will be using the English system wherein I have here three conversions that you need to remember in length or distance. The first one is one foot is equivalent to 12 inches. Again, one foot is equivalent to 12 inches. Then we have here one yard is equivalent to three feet. Again, one yard is equivalent to three feet. Then, one mile is equivalent to 1,760 yards. That is also equal to 5,280 feet. So you need to remember that three conversions using the English system for length and distance. In converting from one unit to another, always remember that the product of a number and one is the number itself and the quotient of two same values is equal to one. So these concepts are helpful in dealing with conversion factors. So I will be giving you examples and then gagamitin natin to mga uh, measurement conversions na to. So let me say we have example one. Convert Convert 54 inches into feet. So that is 54 inches is equivalent to how many feet? So we are going to convert. Okay? So, our solution for that, we need to identify the conversion factor to be used which you will write as a fraction equal to 1. So, ano yung gagamitin natin? Since we are converting inches to feet, so ito yung gagamitin natin. 1 foot is equivalent to 12 inches. So, since what you need is the feet unit, it should be placed in the numerator. So, the other unit will be cancelled as you multiply. So, we can write it as 54 inches times 1 over 12 inches. So, that is 1 foot over 12 inches. And then we need to simplify so we can cancel inches. And then 54 times 1 is 54 over 12 feet. And then divide. That is 54 divided by 12. We have 4.5 feet. So 54 inches is equivalent to 4.5 feet. Let's have... Another example, number two, convert four miles to yards. So that is four miles is equivalent to how many yards? To answer the problem, so we can use the measurement conversion for length or distance. Miles convert, the, uh, convert into yards. So we need to identify the conversion factor to be used which you will write as a fraction equal to 1. And that is 1 mile is equivalent to 1,760 yards. And then since what you need is the yard unit, it should be placed in the numerator so the other unit will be cancelled as you multiply. So that is 4 miles times 1,760 yards over 1 mile. So we can cancel it and then we need to multiply the numerator. So, 4 times 1,760 yards gives us 
7,040 yards. So therefore, 4 miles is equivalent to 7,040 yards. Okay? And for our last example, let me say we have convert 96 yards to feet. So that is 96 yards is equivalent to how many feet? Again, we are going to identify the conversion factor to be used, which you will write as a factor equal to 1, and that is 1 yard is equivalent to 3 feet. So therefore, we can write it as 96 yards times 3 feet over 1 yard and then cancel natin to so we need to multiply so we have here 96 times 3 we have 18 28 so we have 288 feet if we have 96 yards we have 288 feet. So, that concludes our lesson regarding measurement conversions for length and distance using the English system. So, tatandaan nyo lang tong tatlo. And then, for the solution, remember, so, yung number na i-convert nyo, ilalagay nyo sa denominator yung kanyang katulad na unit. So, you can cancel it out. Okay? So, yun lamang. So, I hope that you learned something today. So, don't forget to like and share this video. And see you on my next video lesson.